Now, case five, 65 year old gentleman, previous diagnosis of normal pressure hydrocephalus, which was treated with a shunt last year. So he had normal pressure hydrocephalus. He definitely had the cognitive impairment, incontinence and mobility decline last year. He was seen by the neurologist and the neurosurgeons, had a shunt operation last year at Edinburgh's hospital, but then his cognitive decline continued. That was very bizarre. The shunt was successful. The mobility slightly improved, but this man continues to, uh, and the incontinence as well improved, but this man continued to have significant cognitive decline in short-term memory and speech. And not, not only that, when I took the history, they, they did say um, that there was some improvement, as I said, even in the cognition, but definitely declined again uh, after the operation. And then when you took the history, detailed history, you will find that the patient was actually presenting with visual hallucinations dating back to probably two years. So even before the diagnosis of normal pressure hydrocephalus, this man was seeing people in his house and seeing the spiders on his hands. So when you talk to him, he's kind of constantly trying to you know, push away these uh, spiders. But the onset of these symptoms was two years ago, but they weren't really very recurrent and very disturbing. And this is why he didn't really report them to the neurologists uh, when they saw him for the cognitive decline and the mobility decline. And he was also presenting with vivid dreams, really nightmares that will that will stay in his mind even when he wakes up and also wandering at night. And, and all of these symptoms, as we said, were present before the diagnosis of normal pressure hydrocephalus and they got worse uh, recently. So what, what happened? Did we miss something with this man? Did we miss a second diagnosis? So you have visual hallucinations, cognitive decline, mobility decline. That's correct, yes. So this man actually presented with two diagnoses at the beginning, uh, two to three years ago. He definitely fulfilled the criteria for Lewy body dementia uh, and normal pressure hydrocephalus, but because of the really, maybe he didn't report these things or maybe they didn't ask him about these things, they focused on the normal pressure hydrocephalus. The shunt is, was successful. The shunt did slightly improve the mobility, but we are left with the um, with the other features of Lewy body dementia. So we did a data scan for him. Uh, that's the dopamine transporter scan, which definitely shows significantly reduced uptake uh, in, in, in the basal ganglia. So again, this case just highlights the com diagnostic complexity of these patients. And sometimes, you know, you need to think that they, the patient may be presenting with more than one condition. And the final case, a 79 year old gentleman uh, presented with subacute onset of cognitive decline, visual hallucinations, and persecutory delusions. And I'm saying subacute because the wife of the patient reported that the decline really happened af after the lockdown. So, uh, so she noticed that at the end of March this year, and he was referred to us in June, so three months later. So, this is why I mentioned subacute. Um, he was seeing a face of a woman in the in the vase and starting calling her Mrs. Flowers. So, and there were also periods of verbal aggression towards his wife as he became very suspicious that she has a double and he would question her to know if she was his real wife or not. Not only that, he would question his friends. You know, he will ask them, you know, let, let's call her, his wife Judy. You know, do you know Judy? And they say, uh, yeah, of course, she's your wife. Oh, do, do you know she is real? Uh, do you think there is a double? So he was also checking with his friends uh, about the identity of his wife. He really believed she was a double and she was not his real wife. And even if she answered all of his questions about the holidays they went to, where did they meet? He will still be very suspicious of her. And also they noted some mobility decline, significant personality changes. So he was very social person, but he became more withdrawn. His conversations were really affected and he was just really giving short answers. 
and all the tests are normal, including brain CT scan. So what is the diagnosis? So again, cognitive decline, mobility decline, and visual hallucinations. Front, frontotemporal dementia. Uh, frontotemporal dementia could be could be a possibility. Um, even if you have a normal brain scan, yeah, it could be, but it's just the age really. He, he's 79, so not mm. really very typical. And, and not really associated with the mobility decline we've seen and the visual hallucinations. Paraphrenia? Uh, paraphrenia, so late onset schizophrenia could be. Uh, but what about the significant cognitive decline? He definitely, you know, uh, when, when we did the ACE scoring, I think he scored 65 um, over 100. Although he was a highly intelligent man, this man uh, used to be an engineer and he was doing training courses as well. Is um, yeah. dementia with psychosis a thing? Normal pressure hydrocephalus could be absolutely, um, but in his case, um, the uh, you know the brain scan was normal. There was no signs of of really normal pressure hydrocephalus, so no dilatation of the ventricles. But that's that's a good condition. But just dementia with psychosis that 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 is correct. But what kind of dementia would you give him? Mobility hallucinations and cognitive decline which which dementia would that be louis body that again <laughs> louis body isn't it and this the psych you know the the thoughts about the wife it's capigras syndrome mm. I, I i remember being you know uh, sitting the mrc psych exam and capigras and frigoli were really very popular syndromes in in the questions but we really don't think about them too much when we do our clinical practice and, and he definitely had Lewy body dementia, also confirmed by a neurologist later on. And he had this Capgras syndrome, which is believing that someone they know is a double, uh, has been replaced by an imposter. And the theory behind Capgras syndrome is really fascinating. So you have two impairment, two brain damage that prevent familiar faces from evoking an emotional response. And the second impairment is preventing the ability to reject the delusion of belief. OK, so this is why the person is presenting with these delusions is that the face of his wife is really not evoking any emotion and also his ability to reason and rationalize has been lost. So there, there is a disconnect in the pathway between the temporal lobe and the limbic circuits. So that's that's all 